Hello my beautiful Scorpios, it's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for April 26th, 2022. Getting caught up with readings for the channel again this week due to the fact I've been very booked with personal readings. Thank you so much to everybody who has booked a personal reading, trying to get through them as fast as possible um, despite scheduling. So, um... So getting caught up with readings for April 25th through the 29th. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's dive into the reading and see what the overall messages are from your trusted ancestors, your spirit guides, and your guardian angels. What do they want you to know? Right? We're almost headed out of April of 2022. We're in Taurus season right now. So... Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. All right, rolling the dice. See what we need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number three. Picking up on the three of swords, the empress, and the three of wands. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces and or an Aries throughout the month of March. Power of number five. We could see the Hierophant also picking up strongly on the five of cups, five of wands, five of swords. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini throughout the month of May. And power of number six. You can see the lover's card kick in. Definitely picking up on the six of cups and the six of swords and six of wands. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini and or a Cancerian throughout the month of June. Looks like we are going to the power of number 14, which is in representation of temperance. The temperance card, guardian angel activity, the alchemist. Some of you are um, dealing with a Sagittarius, straight up. We could see the Magician and or any of the Aces. Definitely the Death card may show up. Sign of Scorpio, straight up. Um, power of number 15, the Devil card. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Power of number 16, we could also see the Tower card kick in. Some form of unexpected turn of events. Scorpio or a breakthrough or something has to come crashing down to the ground in order for a new beginning to happen. However, I'm also seeing the fool card in my mind's eye right now. Wiping the slate clean. So you can see the magician or any of the aces. So you could be dealing with any zodiac sign. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Trust the day ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. What is the overall message, whether this is in regards to Scorpio's love life, a specific person, maybe new soulmate activity coming in, life partner situation, family members, friends, career, entrepreneurship, finances, what's going on? Mm, seven of Wands, somebody is either feeling very protective of you, Scorpio, or you're feeling protective of somebody else or protective of a certain situation or somebody's going on the attack or the defense. Ooh, interesting. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, a Leo, and or Sagittarius for some of you. Trusted ancestors, what is this overall protective energy that Scorpio may be going through right now? What is this all about? Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, interesting. So we have a seven and a seven. Maybe some of you Scorpios were born in 1977. Protection. Protection. 
money, time, investment, a waiting process or a waiting game. Somebody could be making you play the waiting game right now. But you're on the grow. For sure, Scorpio. You've had a, a many, let's put it this way. A lot of you have had many trials and tribulations. For a lot of you, Scorpios, life hasn't always been, we'll say, the greatest or the smoothest path. Some of you might have even had a rough childhood. That's what I'm picking up for some of you. This could also be about protecting one's ideas when it comes to business right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting patents and or trademarks. What is this waiting process with the Seven of Pentacles? What is it all about? Yeah, it could be something about big gains going on right now, Scorpio, in your financial life. You could be trying to protect an inheritance. I feel for some of you guys who are in entrepreneurship, this definitely has to do with your ideas, copywriting, trademarking, patenting. Mm. And or somebody is protective of the connection between uh, you and them and somebody is waiting for the right timing to come forward also too to give you a major offer, major commitment because I'm picking up very strong marriage here or you're waiting for a marriage proposal for some of you. This could be about engagement or you're waiting for an engagement ring. Ace of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy you could also be dealing with right now. Wow, more coin energy. Yeah, a lot of you guys are working either numerous jobs or you have side hustles right now that are very important to you. Maybe you're not... Speaking everything out into existence, meaning like to other people, we'll say to other people, but you may be speaking out to the universe right now what it is that you desire and what you need right now. You're going to become very successful, Scorpio. Whatever you have got in the works right now, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm picking up protect your business, protect your ideas. Somebody here wants to work in on a partnership. What is the Eight of Pentacles? Wow, yeah. Something about a passionate, new, creative beginning. This could be in business or somebody is feeling, um, I, I, I heard it from Spirit, somebody's feeling very sexually protective of you. Like they don't want you... Huh. They don't want you sleeping with anybody, Scorpio. That's what I'm picking up. <laughs> Somebody may be a little jealous. Somebody's fantasizing about you. They're fantasizing about the future. Somebody's feeling sexually driven towards you right now, but they're patiently waiting. Oh, Toto's barking. That's like confirmation. Ace of Wands. Some of you could be gearing up to go out on a date next week. Picking that up. Over the next seven days. Or something here in your career and finances could take up to one year for things to really come into full fruition. However, there could be a momentum that will be coming forward during the summertime process because this ace of wands has a tendency to like the energy of where the ace of wands kicks in is on that cusp line of taurus into gemini runs all the way through to around um the fall equinox so we're looking at from virgo cusp line into libra cusp line so the summertime process a lot of you guys are going to be um coming into success also through leo season that's what i'm also hearing too
Somebody is very passionate towards you. I feel like somebody here wants you to let your guard down as well, Scorpio. They're wanting you to have, if, especially if it's a new person that's come into your life. Somebody wants you to let your guard down, like to trust them. Because on a, if I were looking at this on a romantic level, somebody wants to earn your trust back. So this could be a specific person or it could be a new soulmate, a new potential partner that may want you to trust them. Somebody here, like as a potential suitor, the, I'm picking up very uh, strong, serious commitment here, but for some of them, they may know that you were very hurt, very wounded before in the past by all of these, uh, you know, like you're kissing toads, kissing frogs, you know what I mean? Waiting for your princess charming or prince charming uh, to kind of pop into the mix. So somebody wants you definitely to let your guard down, but they're patiently waiting, they're also patiently waiting. They don't, some of these new potential partners do not want to be pushy. So it's almost, it almost feels like they are uh, timing out um, when to message you, when to reach out or text message or phone call. You've got two major aces, you guys. This is powerful. Very, very powerful when it comes to your romantic life and your career and finances. Some of you may be also gearing up to release and let go of another job because a lot of you who are moving also too, side note, into entrepreneurship, there's some momentum that's gaining here. And yes, some of you have lost your patience uh, because you're, you're anxious and picking up nervous tension. But spirit saying, you know... It's okay to calm down, relax as much as possible. The more relaxed you are, the more you can manifest into your destiny. Wow, I just saw that Six of Cups come up very strongly in my mind's eye. And when I looked at this uh, Seven of Wands, let's see here. Give me more... Uh, Clarification, trusted ancestors on this seven of wands, this protective energy. What's going on? Somebody wants to return back to you, Scorpio. Five of pentacles in the reverse. Or I could see this in another way. So let's say I, ha I saw it in the upright, right? Clarifying the seven of wands. This could be about maybe you're, you are the one that has got you, you're protecting you're protecting your heart chakra because you could be a lot of you could be afraid to open up to somebody new because you're afraid of being abandoned scorpio you could have this deep-seated rooted fear and maybe some of you uh growing up as children maybe uh your parents separated or they divorced or um you know, maybe the father abandoned the family or the mother abandoned the family. I'm picking up uh, alcoholism from the past, whether this was an alcoholic father or an alcoholic mother. But somebody here wants to return, but they're afraid that you're you're going to have your, your wall and or your guard up. But if this is a new soulmate situation for some of you guys, they're trying to be exceptionally patient. They know that you've been hurt. Show me the Nine of Wands, please, trusted ancestors. Yes, some of you guys are dealing straight up with the Leo. This person has serious commitment on the brain. Oh, yeah, exactly. Huh. The Hierophant, power of number five. Came up on the second roll of the dice. Again, some of you could be dealing with the Taurus or Gemini. does not have to be. This person is serious about commitment. So whether this is somebody from your past or a specific person or a new soulmate, they know you've been hurt. They know that you've been disrespected. And this person wants to come in with serious commitment. I just heard the song from The Lion King, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Remember how I said about the um, 
Ace of Wands where you might kind of get a little bit of a an explosion for your business where things may start to gain more momentum in Leo season. Well, Leo energy is right here. This is the summertime process right here. Sun card. Show me this message from the sun. Yeah, somebody is highly, 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 highly serious about commitment. There may be no cup cards, but this person, I feel, has a lot of loyalty. Or this person from the past wants to return back to you. They want to start over from scratch. They want to have a new beginning. They still desire you. Yeah, I told you, they're passionately sexually thinking about you. Look at two naked people, okay? Um, power of number six. This was on the third roll of the dice. Guardian Angel activity coming in, <clears throat> in the Lover's card. There's, there's a divine union, a divine connection. Your This could be, honestly, Scorpio, depending on if you use the term soulmate, life partner, or twin flame, I feel that this could end up being your real twin flame. Remember, those are all earthly terms. You, you label it what you want. But... <sighs> Somebody here, I feel, is going to be opening up to you as well, Scorpio, and they're hoping that you may let your, you know, let your guard down a bit and give them an opportunity uh, to prove themselves that they're not like the other person, the other person that hurt you or treated you bad or ghosted you, and um, bottom of the deck, the chariot. So again, power of number seven. This is Cancerian and Leo energy again. They want to move forward. Absolutely. Some of them may even want to go and elope. Look at Queen of Pentacles. This is about commitment. This person might have had other choices or options or they were confused before in the past, maybe about your energy or what to do, but Spirit could have pushed them out of their comfort zone to make a judgment call or um, this specific person maybe from the past uh, got a judgment call and they want to resurrect the relationship connection because you're still their wish fulfillment but on a new soulmate level somebody here is uh wanting you to let your guard down because they, they're deeply in love with you i'm picking this up whoo yeah they want to commit to you king and or queen of pentacles doesn't matter male or female doesn't matter queen of pentacles some of them are going to be opening up to you during taurus season whoo I just heard it. Somebody's person's going to say, I can't live without you. Whew. My goodness. Somebody's, oh, yeah. Somebody's going to be communicating passionately, energetically. Yikes. Like I said, uh, there's no cup cards. There are no cup cards. But that doesn't mean that this person doesn't have emotion. No, this person is bound and determined, I feel, Scorpio, to have you. They don't want, I don't feel like they want you to be with anybody else. They want to protect you. What a breath of fresh air that would be, huh? Yes, yes. They look at you as the empress or the emperor. Or some of them want to build a family with you. They see you as a shining star. I'm telling you, this star card comes up from my Scorpios all the time. Because you guys are rising to the top. I'm telling you, strength card, Leo, Virgo energy. Yikes. Somebody wants to speak their truth. I'm feeling the Queen of Swords is coming in differently. Or they're hoping that, again, that you're going to let your guard down and not chop their head off if this is somebody from the past. Yeah, because they know that they were sneaky before in the past for some of them. Show me this new beginning with the Empress energy. That was power of, power of number three. That was the first roll of the dice. This person is very serious about commitment. They're bound and determined to have you. There's no ifs or ands about it. And it could very well be true. If your person is dealing with somebody or they're married to somebody technically, but the marriage is kind of done and over with, but they're still legally by paper married, there's going to be a divorce. There will be a divorce and this person's going to come forward in that situation and scenario. This person's getting ready to speak their truth. Oh my God. Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck, a fated turn of events, Scorpio. Yeah, this person is so freaking passionate. They desire you. They crave you. They just, they're restless. I'm picking up a restless energy. They're waiting for the ships to come in. Yikes. A 
This is from Justice. Yes, it is the truth. If they are married to somebody, they're going to technically, they're going to end up getting a divorce and they're going to come towards you. On the other hand, this person is getting ready to speak their truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth that you are the one that they want to be with, level up with, boss up with. Power couple. Emperor. We got the Empress. Wouldn't it be beautiful if the Ace of Cups came up? Oh my God. The Moon card. They're holding back so much from you, Scorpio. It's because they... They don't want to rush you. They don't want to push you. But they do not want to lose you to the competition. This is what I'm hearing. Some of them were conflicted before in the past. Yes, yeah, some of them could have been into drugs, um, porn addiction, sex addictions, food addictions. No, but spirit is saying, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Something here has got to get revitalized. Or, or Archangel Gabriel is going to say, come blow your horn. Oh, my God. Yeah, because again, you're their wish fulfillment. Some of you may go out on a date during the full moon in the sign of Scorpio on May 16th for some of you. The moon card, what is this? Yeah, they're holding back. They're holding back so many feelings and emotions for you, Scorpio. It's not because they're doing this on purpose. Some of you are dealing with the Pisces. Hanged man card. They're in flex or suspension because they're hoping that you're going to make a decision for some of them. Or they're trying to make a decision towards you. Like I said, they know that you've been hurt, backstabbed, and betrayed. So if you are dealing with a new person, this person is very serious about you. They care. They really, truly do care. Yeah, they're, they're like I said, that's the reason why I've not seen any cup cards. Because the moon... And the Four of Pentacles, this is all holding back. They're holding back the energy because their, their truth is they want to either settle down with you, have a fresh new start, new beginning, somebody wants to return back to you, or new soulmate, or somebody who you feel like you've known for many lifetimes, um, or that sense of comfortability. Um, they're hoping you're going to let your guard down and or they're feeling exceptionally protective of you. So... Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, take care.